So this custom ROM is here which you can give it a try on your device in case you did not yet. This is available for many devices as an unofficial version and I am talking about AOSP, you can say Paranoid Android. In reality, the custom room is so good, so smooth, having many useful tweaks, not a feature packed custom room although, but the reality is it's available unofficially for many devices. For some devices, it's available officially, but for many devices, it is available unofficially. Let's have a quick look at some of the things included in this case. First of all, if you take a look at the default launcher, it is not like other launcher, three launchers, which is having same icon, home screen, sort of customizations. We have some features available there. Like we have circle to search, which is one of the most exciting things for some of the users, definitely. And it is here, it is working fine, no issues with that. Just have to update Google app once from the Google Play Store, as I always say. And in this case, I guess you have to, because this is not having the latest QPR to update in case you don't know. I will talk about that later on, by the way. Take a look at the recent panel. Clear all, lens, screenshot, these three options you are getting. And by the way, personally speaking, the recent panel is a bit kind of an old UI right? as compared to some of the other custom rooms which are bringing you new UI in recent panel too. But that is okay. It's, it's totally up to you and you can say user preference. In quick settings panel, one thing if you are able to notice, it is in light mode. That's a very good thing. Even in Lineage OS, which is based on quite stock Android, it is having the dark quick settings panel, even if you use a light mode. But in this case, you will see light quick settings panel, even if you use light mode, or, I mean, if you use light mode, if you use dark mode, you will see dark quick settings panel. One of the thing, one of the apps which is pre-installed in Paranoid Android in most of the custom, in most of the devices where you will install this custom room, we have this abstract app pre-installed, which brings you official AOSPA wallpapers, some OnePlus wallpapers and many more things. We also have some of the other apps available, which are good looking. By the way, it is not having all the pixel vibes, which you get in most of the pixel focused custom rooms like Evolution XOS and so on. But in this case, it's still good enough. We have some pixel weather related apps. Pixel weather app is already there. I mean, pixel related apps are there. And one of them is pixel weather, which is absolutely okay in the terms of UI. It's quite good looking. This is unofficial version, so not so sure about it. But I guess uh, it should work for you. Like device is certified in this case. It might be device certified for you too. Including that, if you take a look at the play integrity and once again, let me tell you once again, in this case, meets basic and meets device. This is what actually you need. You do not need strong integrity, but if many of the users are just actually flexing about strong integrity, which is not good for the community, but I cannot do that. Unfortunately, I cannot do anything in that. We have some uh, options related to bootloader spoofing also. Bootloader is locked and so on. If you move on to settings UI, you will notice no customization related thing and no features, etc. Yes, because this is not having many features and customizations, but still some of the useful things are included, which let me show you. If you move on to the display and status bar icons, you will notice that the option for internet speed meter, which you can enable. So network traffic indicator without any customization, it's there. Including that also have the option for Volti Wi-Fi icon, which is not possible with lineage kind of custom rooms and also have the option for Wi-Fi calling icon. So that is quite exciting. Including this, if you move on to wallpapers and style UI, we have all the custom clocks available, which you do not have in lineage OS, etc. So that's also quite good. And if you move on to change wallpapers, we have a lot of wallpapers pre-installed. You can also get these wallpapers from abstract wallpaper and so on, but that's okay. And also have the option for some of the home screen tweaks, which means some options related to icon pack, fonts, and some icon shape related tweaks already. It's a not a unique thing. It's available in other custom rooms too, but it's a part of this one. So definitely just wanted to let you know. If you move on to the gestures, you will notice that everything else is similar, but we have quick, quick settings pull down. And including that, we have some screen of gestures available. Previously, when I used this custom room, it was like double tap for, for these gestures, but we also have the option for single tap gesture now. Double tap has many options you can do with the help of double tap gesture, but in single tap, we have this pulse to ambient display. So this is what you have right now in this one. If you want to give it a try, you can you have the link in the description for all of these things. It is available unofficially as I just told you at the starting of the video. For many devices, it's available on unofficially so you can check out your device community group. Only few of the devices got the official version. I mean the latest version I'm talking about. So if you want to check it out, you can check out the official website. I'll provide the link in the description. 
for now this is it thanks for watching hope you like this video if you like this make sure to drop a like and if you are new here don't forget to subscribe the channel for many other custom rooms videos coming soon thanks for watching